You want to get started in Blender, but Blender's interface is very hard to deal with. And even if you have an introductory tutorial you would like to follow, there are probably a few things you should learn even before you start on any tutorial. And that's what I want to cover in this and the next few videos. So first thing I'm going to show you is left versus right selection. Most programs use left button to select. And in order to set this up, you go edit preferences. And it's a little tricky, but it'll be on interface normally. If you don't like the splash screen, you can uncheck it right here. Or you can check it. It's up to you. That's that little splash screen that pops up. We're going to key map. And it's a little tricky, but it's under preferences at the very top. Uh, I believe the default's right, but almost everybody's going to choose left here. And a lot of tutorials you're going to follow, they're going to have the left mouse button for selecting. And if you just close this, you'll lose whatever changes you made. So you want to go down here and save preferences. Or I've set it to auto save preferences whenever you make a change. So I recommend check this last box here. If you don't have that last box checked, no problem. Just hit save preferences and it will save it. And now you can select with the left button. And to me, that's much better. The other thing I want to cover, you may screw something up and maybe you accidentally uh, made a window disappear, a workspace disappear, and you want to turn it back. You can go to defaults, load factory settings. This is independent from the preferences we just saw. And this will reset any changes you made outside the preference menu. If you read the tooltip that just popped up, and tooltips can be very useful and sometimes not useful. But just because I load factory settings, if I want to keep those settings for the next time I start up Blender, I have to then click Save Startup File. You're most likely going to make some changes, uh, and you want the changed version to start up every time you open Blender. So for example, I have a camera and a light, but I don't like them to be visible. I just turned them to be invisible. And I want to save these changes. So once I've made them invisible, then I went to default save startup file. So now when I close, this dialog is asking me if I want to save any changes I made to uh, the collection to the actual objects inside Blender, which I don't. Now when I start up Blender, whatever modifications I made, for example, you see the camera is invisible and the light is also invisible. So hopefully that will help you unscrew up any settings you may have made. Uh, there's in the preference menu, if you make some change up here and you're not sure what in the world's going on, there's something similar, load factory preferences. And again, if you load factory preferences, you're going to need to then save the preferences. I believe loading factory preferences unchecks the auto save preferences. So just remember, anytime you're going to load the defaults in, you're going to need to save that change you made. So hopefully this will help you unscrew up Blender and get it back to the original working order.